Hi guys, I'm in my car following a very overwhelming drive, um, to say the least, and I've got a little bit of time and I really just need to calm down. <laughs> so I've got my coffee and I pulled out my planner to try and do some planner stuff because I find that very self-soothing. Um, there's actually nothing I need to do. I'm very up to date on my planner. So I thought I would shoot a video. Um, I'm always reluctant to shoot them because I feel like there's nothing I can really show or talk about because I refuse to really like show the insides of my planners because, you know, our privacy and all that stuff. Um, but I'll do my best and see if it's worth uploading. Um, so I am actually in um, a traveler's notebook, uh, 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 an original, like a, you know, a traveler's company traveler's notebook. So I want to talk about that first of all. So I think there are so many beautiful, very expensive, very luxury brands of um, notebooks out there with very high quality, sorry, notebook covers out there with very high quality leather that feel and look beautiful. And I don't know what is wrong with me. I think they're beautiful. I love them. I want to have them. I want to buy them. I want to touch and smell and feel them in my hands. But when it comes to using them, there is such a block. It's like I don't enjoy it and it's not just the worry about ruining them i'm sure that does play a part i'm sure it does but i don't think that's all it is because i have somewhere i tell myself this would look lovely with a lot of wear and tear go ahead and use it and even like i can't i can't get to the point where it actually feels enjoyable to use it so for example i have a gold Giglio Giramondo, which is like a gold luxury leather version, lambskin leather, is it lamb? No, calfskin leather version of this, but it just doesn't, I don't get the same, same enjoyment out of it. And I don't know why, like if you ask me why, I would say the dimensions are just a little bit too big. I would say there's something about the regular TN Traveler's Company notebook, I just find the dimensions are absolutely perfect. They're, they're a really, really special, nice size to enjoy holding. It keeps it very light, um, the original, whereas even just a little bit of extra leather on the more luxury versions, it gets a little bit heavier. Um, and it's just something about like the basicness of this just being one piece of leather that actually without pockets and without lining and all of that stuff that just somehow really appeals to me. So I had to sort of face up to that and and kind of say, okay, I've got all this other stuff, but maybe I just really, really just only want to use this stuff and that's okay because these aren't cheap either but you know in on the scale on the spectrum on the spectrum of things so i have a few travelers company notebook no, notebook covers because i've always liked them and i've had them in black navy blue and dark brown and i always stayed away from the camel because i knew the camel was described as more suede and my only experience with a more suede feel of leather kind of comes as a negative experience and that I haven't liked the texture of it. I found it chalky and grainy and a little bit rough and I haven't enjoyed touching it. So I thought camel is not for me. However, um, I decided, okay, I'm going to try it and it's actually the nicest thing. It is now my favorite because it doesn't have that chalk, this particular one. It is very much suede. It feels like a, a, a it feels like suede. Um, but it is not chalky and it's not grainy. It's soft and I really, really, really like it. It feels very pleasant to touch and it is a beautiful color. Like it's just a really beautiful caramelly sort of brown, uh, like a burnt caramelly brownie brown. I just love it. It's really nice. Um, and it is interesting how all the different Travelers Company leathers really change based on color, based on batch, based on, you know, time of production. And I guess that's cool. Anyway, so this one um, came with the green band as a spare band, and I've put that on because it's nice to have a bit of color contrast. This comes from a limited edition Traveler's Hotel um, Traveler's Notebook kit, but I took it off there because um, that one has a lot of rose gold embossing on it, and I find the gold, the yellow gold with the rose gold, is all a bit too much and a bit too clashy, um, and I thought this one could use a little bit of fancying up. Um, this little key came from the same place and I've just tied that onto the um, the bookmark so let me try and open it now um, and I'll give you a quick rundown on how I'm using it without actually showing you much of the book but 
try to talk through maybe why I'm loving it as much as I am um, and why I hope I can stay in it. So if I open it up, okay, one of the main, so I've put some um, attachable stickers that so everything I've got in here that's an insert is um, mostly from Traveller's Company, but I'll, actually that's not true, I'll let you know when that's not true. But these stickers come from Traveller's Company and they're a really nice handy way to add simple pockets to your um, notebook that don't bulk anything up. Um, and you can really, you can take them off if you don't want them um, there anymore as well. So um, one thing I love, I love these um, folders. They're quite thin. And they go in, um, they go into, they kind of like go behind an insert. You can put them on a string on its own, or you can put them behind an insert. And they just fit nicely. They hold the insert nicely. They wrap around the insert nicely. And they're really good for putting bits of A4 paper that you fold into thirds and you need to carry around with you, like a prescription or whatever it is, you know, so um, useful for that. Um, and I really love that you can decorate them um, and make them your own. So what I think I will do is every year I will get a new one and decorate it like that for that year. So it's specific for that year. Um, and I just think that would be a really fun thing to do. So I put a 2023 on the top for this year. Hope is my word of the year. Um, and then I just put some stickers down um, in a way that, you know, looks nice to me. And this little sticky note is from uh, the Coffee Monster um, uh, uh, company. Um, and, you know, I, I, I kind of love it. So the next insert is also from Traveller's Company and it is the lightweight paper insert. And I can't show you my notes, but um, every day I put the date on top um, and any notes that come in for the day, anything I have to scribble down or write down, go in there. And what I've found is I really want my notes to be in one place. So the problem with a bullet journal style system is uh, or like a, a two pages per day system or even a page per day system where you write notes is um, all your notes are not in one place they're either they, don't, they tend to not be chronological because diary and calendar stuff get in the way or if it's a bullet journal a whole lot of stuff gets in the way between notes um, and you can index it but I just like all my notes to be in one place in one book um, that for me is the easiest way to make sure I can find anything I want and nothing gets lost. These stickers are from Sterling Inc. I love these stickers. Um, I love her design. I love the aesthetic. I love that there's a certain consistency to all of it um, from month to month, but there's also a difference in the palette and the style from month to month, but it's subtle, subtle difference. I like that. I think that's um, lovely. Um, so... I write notes on the top. I use these rub-ons that come with the Traveller's Company sticker pack. So every year, Traveller's Company release a sticker pack. They have amazing tabs, um, monthly tabs in the sticker pack. They have round, transparent stickers in the sticker pack. They've got stickers, and then they've got these, like, rub-on. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. They're amazing, but they sell out really quickly at the beginning of the year. So this date is when I started this notebook, and this is my first notebook. I intend to stick to the system. I intend it, whether I will or not, I intend it. And so this is the first notebook of the system. Um, and this, this, and then I'll, this is the date it starts, and I'll put the date that my notes finish on there too. And I may do more decorating of this um, throughout the year. At the moment, I really like where it is. And then here, this piece of paper comes from the Traveller's Company Rarities and B-Sides um, little notebook where you could rip out the note pages. Um, and it had this lines at the back and this. So this I put there in case I need to write something and give it to somebody um, so that I don't have to tear a page out of my books. Not that I would tear a page out of my books, um, but in case I need to write something down, um, something more than like what would fit in a sticky note. And then here, I've just got double-sided tape, also from the Traveller's Company sticker pack, um, in case I need to stick something down. So that is that. And then on the back of here, I have put a, um, I don't think they make these anymore, these pen loops. It's also from the Traveller's Company, and I love it, because it's got a really big pen loop, and I just really love it. But I just can't, like, they seem to be sold out everywhere. I don't think they're restocking either. 
so more decorations for my folder and then here this is also from the travelers company um and what this is is a plastic um it's a plastic folder that you can open up this way sorry and the idea is that you could fold an A4 piece of paper and put it in here. Now, in practice, it's not the most convenient thing because you have to fold that paper very specifically to make it fit in here. And if you don't fold it first and you just put the paper in and then try to fold the folder, it's not that it's, it, it doesn't work so well. Um, but I've used this folder for many years now and I do find it useful. So that goes in there. I've only got one string. I haven't put in an additional string to this Traveler's uh, note, company notebook cover and I don't think it needs more than one string so let's stick with that. So the next book I then have is a project um, book. Um, okay so I like to have my notes in one place. I like to have my calendar daily to do's, weekly to do's in one place and I like to have my projects in one place. Um, reference stuff I put in a ring binder, stuff that I don't need to refer to all the time but I need for reference. But projects, I generally would be best if I could look at my project list every day so I can see what needs to be actioned. So I have that in a separate book and it is in the Grid Travelers Company book. So this is from Coffee Monster. The rest of the stickers are basically stickers from Travelers Company. And I just want to give you a quick example of one page that I can show. And so I'll put the project, say home, pool, garden, whatever, and then I'll put a list of stuff that needs to be done for that particular project. And as I complete them, I will um, cross and um, cross the box and highlight the, the, the task. And so, the, you know, the book will be filled with projects and the idea is when I'm planning to just go through my project lists and see what, if anything, I can action. It also means that the information that's specific to a project is kept in one specific place. So for example, I need to get walls painted. And so I called a bunch of painters and I went to my notes book for that. And I wrote down the painters I was calling. I wrote down if I could get through or if I couldn't get through, if I had to leave a message or you know how I dealt with them and what they said. And then I wrote down the different quotes that they gave me in the notes book. Now I've settled on one and he gave me the best quote. And I just want to, and then he gave me, he gave me a bit of a discount and I just want to write down what price he gave me. I want to take it out of my notes book and I want to put it in the projects book so that when I am booking, when, when the time comes for him to actually do the work, I can say, oh, and you might remember we agreed on this price, you know, and I don't then have to try to find it in my notes section. It'll just go straight in the projects section. Okay, I had to cut that out because I showed a whole bunch of photos accidentally. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what I was saying other than, you know, um, it's good to have your projects in one book. You never know exactly how many pages to allocate to a project, but you can take a rough guess of how many pages you need based on what you know about the project. Now, this book is what I can't really show you because it's got photos everywhere. But this book is my planning book and it is from the Coco Daisy. Now, this is an old Coco Daisy book because I had stopped my Coco Daisy subscriptions just because I needed to downsize. Um, but then I just missed the colors, the very different designs, the fun, you know, the fun that Coco Daisy brings. I just missed that and I thought if I get an insert um, from there, then it's already kind of decorated, so I don't necessarily need all the stickers and all of that stuff as well. It brings a lot of pop and color and just difference from month to month. Because otherwise I do think if I pick like a stalogy or a half year stalogy and I cut it down and I use that for my day to day planning, I do think I get bored really quickly because it just all looks the same. Um, and that then sparks a desire to change it up and I don't really want to change it up. I want to stick to it if I can for the sake of organization, if nothing else. So I actually think having a monthly book that changes from month to month that I can look forward to, that has a different design, that surprises me when it arrives, I think that's probably the best. So I've dug this out from one of my old um, collections and I've set it up um, while I'm waiting for my June book to arrive and the way I think the design has changed so I think it's probably much more it's a much it looks like a much better design now to be honest but the old design was like this and I've split it so that there's two boxes per day 
for planning. So I put my appointments in this box, which I've drawn out. And then I put morning to do's, afternoon to do's and evening to do's. And that's how I um, split out the day. So it's, um, it just makes it the tasks more manageable to put them in a morning, afternoon and evening slot instead of one big long list. Um, so that's how I do my daily planning. And then in my weekly plan, um, I just find a blank page because these booklets uh, used to come with those, um, you know, three sections before, like, like, like it used to come with this, like three sections. And then it would also come with a bunch of pages that were just kind of blank throughout the book. And so on blank pages, I have drawn out my weekly schedule and these are just sterling ink stickers. I love the sterling ink dating sticker packs because you can use them on anything and you've got like the full year and it's amazing. Amazing. I just think that's the best. That, that sterling ink full year sticker pack that uh, allows you to sticker up an entire book for a full year if you want is the most amazing invention. I'm going to call it an, an invention ever. It's just so useful. It's so worth it. Um, anyway... <laughs> So this is how I do my weeklies, um, but when the new book comes with a new design, I think it'll be a lot, it'll actually be a lot easier because I think it comes with weekly pages and daily pages and that'll be amazing. Um, so um, that's basically it. Let me just close this. That's basically it. And so in this beautiful um, Traveler's Company uh, notebook cover, I have got a notes notes booklet I've got a folder to keep stuff in I've got a plastic folder for more serious documents and then I've got a project book and I've got a um I've got a calendar book and the calendar book goes in one of these pockets that I have stuck onto the back of my traveler's company notebook um I could have put because there's only three real inserts plus a folder I could have just put them all on the string using a jump band but then I found that it just sits more flush if I put one of the books on the back um using one of these stickers rather than using the jump band system because if you use the jump band system the middle book always juts out a little bit and you can push it back in again but I just found it's a better sit if I do this I do think with the travelers company a little bit of peeking out of the books is part of the look it's part of what makes it you know look nice I for me I enjoy that um but I just want it I don't know I just like it better when it looks like this so but you can play around with that another great thing about Traveler's Company is there is a lot of customization you can do you can get um those patches I've got a green dragon patch that I'm looking forward to using on my olive one when it arrives um you can get patches you, I think you can just super glue them on basically you don't need to do anything too extreme um if you have a leather worker you could get them to emboss stuff onto your um leather um, you can use different color as uh, hat elastic to, you know, the Traveler's Company itself provides a whole bunch of different colors for you to mix it up. There's so many charms. There are Traveler's Company charms, but there are just general charms that you can use on the string. You can use on the bookmark. Um, I just think it is super brilliant. It comes in different colors like the navy, the black, the brown, the camel, the olive. Um, there are limited editions that come out quite frequently now. Um, so there's lots of ways to just mix it up and collect and do different things just within the Traveler's Company original notebooks themselves. So I love them and that's it. Um, I will, I look forward to showing you my Olive Traveler's Company notebook once I have put on the patch, um, cause I've got some embossing done for it too. And I'm curious to see what the leather is like on that one. And I, it should arrive like next week or so. All right. Um, lovely talking to you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.